<laughs> Today we're going to do exercise number three, presentations, and after we do that, um, then we'll um, just say a few comments about how you can prepare for the exam, okay? So we're going to start with group number one, and then we'll go one, two, three, four. Uh, yes, uh, this is group one. Uh, I'm Bjorn Olav. This is uh, Aling. Aling and Kai. Uh, we've had about uh, every. Uh, this is our yeah. This is our summary of what every is about. Uh, it's an IT company in the Nordics, one of the leading, largest. Uh, it's both public and private sector. Basically, they do. Uh, services that uh, we uh, use every day and also for the businesses and yeah this is just a few comments so this is the mission statement it's basically what uh, every every goal is about what they aim for and what they want to do like they want to uh, uh, use services that benefits the society uh, both private and uh, public Uh, the main audiences basically uh, was uh, uh, public uh, and private uh, users, owners, and developers. It's basically everyone. Uh, and basically, it's basi uh, the customers and uh, the industries that uh, uh, every is operating for. That's the uh, audiences that we have aimed. Yeah. And the research meeting is uh, basically a couple of questions that we sent to uh, the owners of the site, what we wanted to know, and uh, here, here they are. And on the background of these questions, uh, we have made uh, our, uh, our plan and the report for uh, what we want to improve and uh, our comments on the site. So you will see that later in this presentation. So the second research uh, method was uh, user interviews. Uh, the opinion of users are often one of the most valuable components of the information architecture research. Uh, uh, we categorized the users in two main uh, categories. One was business, uh, the second was individuals. <coughs> uh, and we wanted to find out two things. One was the, the purpose of visiting the site uh, for businesses. It was help finding solution to problems and uh, or um, the development of uh, new solutions. Um, it was also important for businesses to see uh, Avery's portfolio and earlier uh, customers. For individuals, uh, they were looking for information for uh, suited for uh, individuals. And also events and course courses, like courses. Um, <coughs> the second question was tips for improvement of the site. Uh, businesses uh, highlighted they wanted more uh, uh, user interface illustration of uh, each software type. And for individuals, it was better filtering uh, on uh, job search. Yes, and then we had uh, benchmarking as a method, and uh, we used uh, competitive uh, benchmarking, and we used stereo.com slash and uh, at first we looked at the visual part, and uh, stereo has a short and easy main page, but it appears messy because it had a 
uh, frame with the picture that change all the time, so you get a little bit confused. And uh, every page is straightforward and appears clean, but it's too long. There's too much space and too much clicks to get to the bottom to the page. And if you see on navigation, as I said, the library was uh, clean and spacey, but that means it's long pages. And stereo, they don't have, they have short pages because they have a drop down menu instead of many clicks down. And including they have a sidebar. This will show later on. And the search for every, they had three kinds of search. One search that was global and one uh, search that was in the local site and a filtering one. So it's searching indexing of customers. And with stereo, they used uh, Google search with the uh, known uh, Google layout and uh, result list. And here you can see uh, every page with the scroll bar is very short. That means the page is very long. And stereo is above. It's a long scroll bar. That means the page is short. And the sidebar to the left above with stereo and then the drop-down box of the, the orange one. And then we used the technical benchmarking at web website optimization.com. It's uh, hard to read here, but you can see the colors in every and stereo. You can see that every is more green and red, uh, red on stereo. And uh, this means that every is a quite good page when it comes to technical benchmarking. What does it measure? What does it measure? Oh, it mes measures total size and amount of pictures, amount mm -hmm. of, of objects, image size, and script size. Uh, what is test sensing? Yeah, but it's hard to read. Yeah. Uh, so when you get a red, what does that mean? Uh, yeah. That's a warning. That, yeah, but why is it bad? Because they have certain values that are good and bad, and if you score within yeah, the range. Like what is bad if you have too many pictures or if it's Yeah, for example. <laughs> 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 uh, too much, uh, if you have too much picture, your site yeah, may be slow to load or uh, something like that. And then we also use the uh, heuristic evaluation and each of our experts uh, evaluated uh, every dot annual and we found out what was uh, good and bad and uh, the most important findings was uh, that uh, we want the smaller pictures or remove the big picture on the front page and uh, remove pictures from customer list or categorize them by industry. This will be shown a little bit later. Uh, so, here we can see uh, the summary of our research uh, phase, uh, and this is where the suggestion of improvements we found. Uh, <coughs> and now we uh, went on and implemented some of these uh, improvements into blueprints and wireframes. Uh, blueprints show the relationship between pages and are often called sitemaps. Uh, this uh, first blueprint is a high level blueprint uh, and it shows all the contents on the page. What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we used, it's just um, the different <coughs> content on the page. <coughs> So the biggest changes to our information architecture uh, of, course, of course in the top layer of the page hierarchy. <coughs> uh, here we can see the old uh, top layer and from the research results um, the research meeting they wanted a more visible webshop so they uh, moved the webshop to the top uh, navigation menu 
Uh, we also wanted uh, <coughs> uh, a categorized list of uh, customers. So we moved the customer uh, list under industry. As we can see here. So that now each, each uh, example of customers are categorized under each industry. Okay, so here you can see the wireframe uh, for the Swedish blueprint. This is basically what we want the page to look like. But this is a schematic uh, version uh, with uh, the links here, the top layers, and uh, a couple of buttons here. Uh, and later on, you will actually see the wireframe itself. Uh, but this is basically just uh, uh, the schematics. Uh, and here are just some thoughts we had on this and why we set it up as we did uh, and especially the navigation bar like we said we changed to move some of the menus so here you can see what uh, the result is like uh, we have moved one of the menus here and uh, basically have some information here and uh, you have the left uh, the right bar here Menus here and here. Basically, so we moved it a, bit, a little bit to make it easier, in our opinion. And here you can see the difference between uh, every and uh, Steria. Uh, you can see Steria has a drop down menu uh, that displays the label, uh, and you don't have to click it or enter a new page. But every, you have to enter a new page to get the information you need. So basically, we feel like this is more user friendly because. It shows without having to click on it. So here we have SAP SRM, and this is one of the examples that uh, we feel they should improve because there's uh, a lot of text and you know blank pages. Like uh, this could be used for something useful because it doesn't say very much and it's very boring. You know. That's why we have this to implement. Uh, basically, we think of one of these, not the all, all of them, but one of these just to put here so it may look a little bit that you have more possibilities on the, right, on the site. And uh, basically we, we move these ones or re-enter them, uh, but it depends on what page you're on. This has also a background in uh, user interviews as they wanted uh, examples of uh, user interface from different software. So we implemented that on this page. Uh, different users, also. Like what type of sub users? No, uh, we uh, divided into businesses and individuals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, businesses could be uh, previous customers, mm -hmm. new customers, and potential has, customers. Like uh, CEO or who do you ask? <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe the ones that. Are responsible for uh, IT development in the in the business. People that are purchasing. Yeah, people that are looking for uh, the products that mm -hmm. uh, every offers. But like the just the description of the user service or interface was a bit vague. Yeah. You, you can you should say like who you be interviewing. Okay. Yeah. But that was mainly because we didn't change that much on the page. Uh, mm -hmm. It was mostly design and uh, some moving of uh, labels. Mm -hmm. It didn't really have that much effect on the uh, structure of the page. Okay. And um, 
I also thought there were some like unreadable figures of this uh, blueprint. Yeah. It was impossible to know what that was mm. representing. Even if you took a, like a small part of that and, and blew it up, mm. and say this is from here. And yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Uh, group number two, do you have any questions for group number one? Because they were consulting me. <laughs> do you have any questions for group number one? Are you happy with the result? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Laquelle, laquelle C'est une très bonne question. Euh, non, mais là, il n'y a pas, il n'y a pas. Il n'y a pas encore. C'est peut-être dans So hi everybody. Uh, today we are we were talking about the the Seamorph. Seamorph is a is a website about it's a TV website when you can see some TV shows and and so many sports like football and uh, NHL and things like that. So first I will make uh, an introduction. Then um, we'll talk to you about free research methods. Uh, then the strategy that we use to um, to answer the um, the see more questions, and then finally the the design of those solutions. So in this in this course we had to to make an, an higher work about see more point no, and um, the main demand of this website is to add winter sports in their program. Uh, they also wanted uh, an, an easier way to, to sign up and to register on their website. And they also want uh, a multi-language website. So the first way to research uh, is the benchmarking. So to, to, to do benchmarking, we have to choose a website who has the similar uh, uh, purpose and audience, audience. audience. So uh, we choose uh, the French uh, version of uh, Seymour, who's called Canal Plus. So we can see that uh, there are pretty much difference. Uh, on the top, you can see Seymour, and under it's Canal Plus. So um, the difference on Canal Plus. And uh, it's that we can di directly click to sign up and to subscribe. And uh, on Seymour, you have to click to one of the button on the top to have the button to subscribe. So it's a little bit different. The second method that we can use is to make a survey. Then with this survey, we can uh, know the feelings about the actual website. We can discover what the user like and what they don't like. And uh, we can uh, also define what is the most important of the website for the user. And this is what we have to improve. Uh, the survey, we can send it by email to all the members. Or when uh, we log in the site web, we can, uh, it can appear on the front page. So I will talk about background research. 
uh, we conduct this analysis this uh, across this major issue valuable information short and long term goal deadline user of system new user and keep the old ones and look over the old system so for valuable information it's um, to be sure of uh, the goal for the website so it's a website to for to see movies series and sports event so uh, for short and long a long term goal for short goal to have multi language choice and uh, new sport new winter sport live on the website and long term goal uh, redesign the website new design for user and the deadline we have to do this presentation today so uh, the user of the website everybody use uh, free to 80 a uh, woman man and child it's for it's for everybody. Uh, they want to find new user with new sport, new winter sport to uh, to increase the audience. And uh, if we take a look on the old system, it's a great design, um, a good functionality, easy to use, but uh, they have to add new content. So after research phase we are going to talk about the strategy phase uh, so at first we are going to talk about the um, thinker uh, part so uh, the main demand of the customer is about the choice of the language uh, in this website they also want to improve and make easier uh, the way to register for uh, for example to see the channel uh, which you apply for uh, and add more wins to sports program programs in the in the content. Uh, so for the multi language, uh, we thought about two possibilities: an automatic choice according to the place where you are, and a customer choice. Uh, he has the choice between several uh, languages. Uh, then uh, for the easy way to register and pay the bill we thought also about two possibilities a window that automatically uh, opens in the middle of the page and um, another thing is a button at the top of the page to sign up blanks to register uh, with your login your password and another button to pay the monthly bill so the second part of the, strat the strategy is to articulate our ideas, find some some ideas on other websites. So for the for the multi-language choice, we can see for this uh, this website, for example, when you enter in the in the home page, you have this with who appears, and you just have to choose your region. Uh, or some other things with the. Um, the country flags you just have to click on to, to change the, the language of the page like there or, or there uh, for sign up or register you can just put some buttons on the top of the page or like this 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 window who can who appears when you go to the website just have to, to write your username and your password to, to log in the communication part uh, to communicate and show our ideas we will make an oral presentation with a powerpoint support uh, it will permit us to show clearly what we want to do and discuss about uh, the different possibilities we can also make a scenario to show the work uh, at the end how it would be and the change that uh, we made so we did one for example if you take Mary who is a French student student she is coming in Norway to study she wants to uh, to look winter sport because she really loves it but she doesn't have a tv so she is going on a simo.no she learned about a new competition she wanted to see because she didn't really speak norwegian she chose the, to change the language into english she had to subscribe and uh, choose the channel then she can easily pay by clicking uh, under the simo logo on a button payment then she can go to the program of the day and find the competition she wanted. When it's over, she can use the serendipity mode to see other programs she could be interested in. Uh, the, the, the last part is about testing, but the, the different solution that we choose 
are already used in so many websites. So our solutions are not very new and we don't really need to, to test it because we know that it works well and that's, that's good as this. So that's why this part we didn't really need to, to, to improve it. Then the design, so at the end it will be like this. Uh, so um, under the logo, you will have two buttons to subscribe and sign up. Um, and then on the right top corner, you will have two flags to change the language. So we choose only two language, uh, Norwegian <coughs> in, in, and <coughs> English. So when you will uh, click on uh, sign up, um, you will have, uh, there is a mistake, it's subscribe, not sign up, sign up. So you will, um, you will be redirect on this page and you just have to follow the instruction to, to subscribe. And then when you will click on sign up this time, uh, you will have, uh, you will be redirect on first this page where you have to choose your, uh, subscription, your types of subscription, and then uh, you will be redirected on this page and you just have to enter your, uh, your those, uh, the password and the, your name to, uh, to log in. Uh, to conclude, um, we, have been, uh, we have been working on a free minor funds, working design, new content, and the uh, new language option. Okay. <coughs> I will tell you these things because it should help you also prepare for the exam. Um, when you do this assignment, you're asked to write a strategy report. And the strategy report sections are described on page 280 and the pages after that. So you should look at what is included in the strategy report. <coughs> like uh, there was, <coughs> uh, there should be like an executive summary and then you can include your research, but then afterwards uh, you should also have uh, your architectural strategies and approaches and, and something about content management and you just have the lesson for me. But um, when you wrote about the strategy, you wrote about the process rather than what was described here. So it was a little bit different to work on something else. <coughs> and you didn't put in anything about blueprints and wireframes. And you need to look at how these are drawn up and be able to draw blueprints and wireframes for a, a template site. Um, and when you were talking about your research methods, when you talk about benchmarking, what exactly did you measure? Like when you compare one site to another site, what is it you're trying to measure? You should make a list of this, what you're comparing between the mm -hmm. two things. And when you talk about the survey, um, you didn't really say anything about who did you ask and what did you ask. You just said you did a survey. <laughs> so you need to, <coughs> to understand what is a survey. <laughs> so, okay, that was most of the things that I found. Um, does uh, group number three have any questions or it's for the, it's for the consultants? No, <laughs> no. no questions, okay. <laughs>
So as uh, information architecture consultants for Moods of Norway, which is a clothing site, uh, we had the task to to create a strategy report and a blueprint plus wireframes. Uh, our goals for the new website uh, was to increase the customer base, uh, loyalty, and also make make the site more user friendly. Uh, our strategic recommendations are to develop an easier way to find the English version on the website. Uh, users entering the website in Norway get di directed to the Nor Norwegian site version. So the option to change uh, language does not exist. Uh, develop uh, our second recommendation for uh, strategic recommendations is to develop more uh, versions of the website uh, with a wider uh, language, uh, language selection it will uh, attract more customers and it will make the make it easier for them to navigate on the web page. Uh, we also want to improve the search engine. Uh, if the user spells the if the user spells uh, the word wrong or the site can give uh, examples for the correct word uh, they were searching for. Uh, I will recommend the key areas er areas uh, which are important for development or develop a personalization, personalization future and improving customer loyalty uh, an improved search engine which makes it uh, easier for the user to search for a specific term uh, or item uh, increased customer base uh, more languages to choose and easier to change will increase the number of customers Yes, det skal være vi ser så vi dokumenter op. Gør du dokumenter skal jeg? Okay. About personas, it's how how the audience is answer the questions who, why, and how and how the users uh, navigate uh, on the website uh, and uh, it explains uh, how the different gender uh, see the web page and uh, why the users surf the website and how users access uh, by a PC, iPad and uh, mobile so that's personas Uh, well, the, uh, the, the users is uh, the gender between uh, 3 to 8 years who have the clothes for, uh, for kids and uh, the user uh, man is uh, man between 16 and 80 years of age and the women uh, with the same age of 16 to 80. Um, well, that's <coughs> so the audience mission and mission for the site and uh, Muse of Norway have been in the fashion since uh, 2003 uh, you can buy clothes for everyone in the family include your kids and uh, with Norwegian quality and uh, nice design uh, the audience is girls from 3 to 8 years and the rest of the clothes is for grown-ups with sense for fashion and a thick wallet because it's very expensive. Uh, the, the mission and goals for the site are that uh, they still want to make happy clothes for happy people and, uh, and to people to access over the rest of the world with our Norwegian originality and uh, International <coughs> style. So yeah, that's it for the audience. Yeah.
this is an overview or what which lessons we did learn after the different research we did first thing as the Reben already mentioned is a search engine uh, when you search and you get the answer if you search a wrong word like shurta instead of shurta that means shirt no it's yeah shirt. yeah not a shirt but yeah shirt <laughs> And um, yeah, you don't want you won't get an add to correct or a suggestion in a different, you know. And if you just search, then you won't get you just get an empty result, you know, no suggestions. So that's our uh, in conclusion. Add this function to the search engine and to the result. And as uh, they have always said, the language it's really hard to find the English page. So yeah, and they have an English page. We found it after a while, but. Uh, it's really hard to find. Um, and yeah, the navigation, the shopping cart is a bit hard to find after you shop something, you put something in the cart. And uh, it's, it, it kind of disappears if you just continue browsing. So make it more visible and make it like a sticky so it will fall on the, on the right uh, page, on the right of the page. And uh, after browsing down, after looking through a lot of clothes, uh, it's a really long way back up to rose back up, so the main navigation bar should follow you, and um, to make it easier to navigate. And yeah, that's coming. Really. Yeah, then have the blueprint for the site, and that shows the relationship between the pages, and we have divided into two customers and administrators. So when the customers are on site, they can search by query. And also we have the autocorrect, that if they misspell something, they can get it right. And for the browse section, they can browse by category and by the price. So we'll see how expensive it is and get him more information on uh, what type of cloth it is. Uh, so we have the order for the customs, customers, and they can buy the clothes from the site via, the, via payment, for example by credit card or something. And that also we added that they can make an optional feedback to see how happy they were about the clothes when they got it from the site. And also give the opportunity to give them a what also other customers bought when they, uh, when they are making their choice of what they're going to buy. So <coughs> the customers should also have information and uh, they can have the contact information at the bottom of the site and the about us and questions and answers if they're wondering about something that might have been answered before. Uh, so we have the other part, the <coughs> administrators that can uh, add content. If uh, they add new clothes or have the prices and information about the clothes, they can delete them if they're not uh, made by the manufacturer anymore. And uh, the finally, the, they can modify the content if they are out of stock or get more into stuff or something like that. Yeah. That's the blueprint. Yeah, this is the wireframe of the main uh, the main page. Yeah, after we kind of the suggestion if they implement the suggestions we want them to do, they move the logo. We don't tell. Uh, we kind of expect that our clients have checked out the web page already, so they know how it looks. So. Bad to sorry for you other that I haven't seen it already, but we want to move the logo to the top left corner. The name and slogan is uh, still in the middle, or is we move the slogan also to the middle. Sh search field as is before. Menu is also in the same place, but we add like uh, Henrik said, the, um, you can sort of the price and uh, yeah name, and yeah and uh, and we will make the overview of the clothes a bit different. You have a product pic of every product on the left side and information on the right, and of course the buy now button on the all the way to the right, and that will be in the all the page instead of just having a lot of pictures. It will also have the information about the product on the main page, and then we added a quick contact button in the down left corner to make uh, it possible to contact uh, support easy, and uh, the other is like it is now general info in the down middle and the cool partners in the down right corner. So yeah, that was the uh, main wireframe. So do the content management and uh, the recommendations for the website will impact, uh, uh, will impact
combined like the content management components to some extent. The three components for uh, effect effective content management are rules, roles, and resources. Um, for um, the rules, uh, we chose uh, every picture must have a transparent background, a script to check if a product is available with the vendor, and if the local warehouse is empty for a specific product. And there should be two or more administrators to check uh, the content before publish. And there should be uh, all sizes available uh, on the product as long as the vendor have those products available. Uh, uh, for um, the roles, uh, uh, the different roles uh, need, uh, needed for the website. Uh, we, we are going to use uh, implement new languages, so we will need uh, an increased staff to uh, create, publish and maintain the content in the new languages uh, the site is translated to. So this is a metadata and uh, we have uh, on the different uh, clouds we have uh, brand, model, product number, size and so on. So. Uh, this is uh, how we describe the metadata on the website. So uh, that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, on a document board, and like uh, it's it's like you have all different sections just pasted together in one document. That doesn't <coughs> flow as one strategy report. Uh, what you should have done is put the executive summary first on the report, and it, right now it appears after the strategy, and um, you have the audience and mission and vision that could come after the executive report, and then you could have done the research method, so it was hard to pick out what the research methods were. Um, you, seen, you talked about personas, you talked about background research. But then in the table where you have lessons learned, you have heuristic evaluation and user interviews. So there should be one section with research methods. You pick three, or you could pick four research methods and talk about them all together. And then after that, you can put the lessons learned. The, the table itself was a nice table because it kind of summarized the <coughs> what you found, but it just how you got to that was a bit confusing. Yeah, but in the, um, it didn't, didn't say that we had to re uh, deliver the research thing because in the st we had to re yeah, deliver the strategy report and it didn't say anything about yeah. delivering yeah, the research the results says, except um, for the lesson learned. It says um, uh, in the research phase you should try three research methods. Yeah, we did. Uh, you have to, if you're reporting on the research methods, you should report on them. <laughs> we wrote the report on all of them, but we kind of yeah. checked the stats and summarized it. Okay. For the order. Yeah. And then the, uh, the blueprints were good because you could read them and they were easy to follow. And the wireframe was was uh, good. It would be nice to see maybe some pictures that was more specific to yeah. the moots because I you know, have to kind of imagine what's there. You can actually see it. Yeah. So